Okay, this is going to be your hyperspin starting up, so you're going to press escape. You're going to come up to your main hyperspin, you're going to hit escape again. Would you like to enter? And you're going to go ahead and hit escape, or, or enter. <laughs> so once it says yes, hit enter. And then you're going to have these two icons here. You may not have this green one. The green one is the one we want. So to find the green one, we're going to go down here on the left-hand side. We're going to click on the bottom corner. We're going to go to computer. And then once in computer, we go to the root, root drive, the drive C. And then we go down to hyperspin. And then right there is the green, is the green icon, and right here is the red one. So the green one is right there, and the red one is right there. So what we want to do is we're going to right-click this green one and drag it over to our, to our desktop right here. And we're going to let go, and it's going to say create shortcuts here. We're going to click on that. Um, I already created it, so I don't need to do that. So now, then, once you did that, you're going to exit the window, and then you'll have this green icon. So you're going to want to run the green icon. And that's going to bring up a menu. The menu is going to have, this is the hyperspin control menu, so it's hyper HQ. So it's going to have new, uh, main settings and wheel settings. Under wheel settings, um, if you highlight wheel settings, you go to choose a wheel, and then you have all your wheels. What you're going to need to do is go in and the wheels are set for Z drive. You need to change them to the root drive. To do that, you, you click on a wheel, like MAME, and then here it says executable and ROM path. They're set to Z. So what you do is you come over here and you click on the two things on the end here, which is dot, dot, slash. You highlight dot, dot, slash, and then you come back over here and you go to the next one. You go to Atari. Then they're set to Z. You come over here and hit slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. You go back here to the next one, Atari 5200. They're set to Z. You're going to come over here and change them to dot, dot. And basically, um, this has to be done for all the emulators to change your drive. Once that's done, all those emulators will work. So if you, if you want to just change MAME and a few others that you, you know you're going to use, you can do that and then change the rest later. Or, um, or you can just go through them all alphabetically and change them all now. Once that's done and you changed them all, all you do is uh, exit this and you can just reboot the computer. Um, or you can run hyperspin from the red, the red icon and that'll run it. Alright, that's it.